Arietti was just finishing all her moving when she heard a knock on the door. Who could that be? She wondered. She opened the door and saw an elf-like creature. Hello, I'm Piro the Picari. I live a stone's throw away from here. I would like to give you this flower to welcome you to this neighborhood. Please come in, said Ariete. I just finished all my moving. She showed the picory inside her small but cozy house. I'm going to take a break on the rooftop with some tea and watermelon. Would you like to join? Piro was delighted and accepted the invitation. They shared their stories for hours and become good friends from that day on. Okay, now that my horrible acting and writing is out of the way, let's get into the close-up shots. This piece is a tribute to the little creatures in folklore and fairy tales. Here we have a Picari from The Legend of Zelda and Ariete from The Secret World of Ariete. The door was inspired by J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. I saw this in Google and I can't believe how easy it is to make a rope ladder even at this small of a size. Here's a rock made from paper mache and painted with acrylic so that it appears to have lichens or algae on it. Now these are the flowers from Alice in Wonderland. The only thing that wasn't handmade was these Limax chairs and table. Here's a shot of the entry table. The fireplace. the study desk, and the bed. My three food items are the salad, the fruits in the bowl, and the watermelon on the rooftop. Congratulations Holly for reaching 50,000 subscribers and thank you so much for making this contest. I wish you all the best and I hope to see more of your wonderful crafts.